Kiat has a question about organizing content. Now, this is actually something that I teach in my content flow course, but I'm just going to show you on screen a little bit what I do. And if you're interested, you could take the, uh, take the full course on it or just borrow some of my ideas here. Basically, um, and you don't have to use every column, just like you could see what I do. I don't really use every column, but uh, I put it in a spreadsheet, um, including some cussing <laughs> and the, 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 the title of the, of the blog post. Um, you know, in terms of the, the topics, let me show you what I do. And this is all stats, stats, you know, stats and things like that. But in terms of the organizing by topics, here's, here's what I do for that, okay? So I basically put each topic as a separate column and I name that column. And then I, I do fancy color coding so that, you know, conditional formatting, if the cell is not empty, then it shows up as that color. You know, if the cell is not empty, it shows up as a different color. So anyway, so I do, I do conditional formatting. So it kind of looks pretty, but you know, if I, and one and two simply means um, one means, oh, it's definitely about that topic. And two means that, yeah, it's, it's related, but not direct. So think about how you might organize your columns, your topics, and then, you know, uh, do it that way. And the nice thing about, the nice thing about doing it in the spreadsheet is that if I say, oh, let me, I'm going to write a book about joyful productivity. I can simply sort the whole column by A to Z. And now I can see, yay, here are all of my direct posts about joyful productivity and I could basically put the book together but I just now I have my book right I just put all those blog posts into a single document and I organize them and now I have a book or a, a course to say hey I'm going to teach um joyful productivity course no problem let me organize this this way and then let me see which topics I want to teach in the course so I hope this is helpful and um if you for the full spreadsheet and template and how to use it well you can just go to my content flow course georgecow.com slash content or again you could just basically do something like this yourself using columns and topics so hope this helps all right so kiara says should i connect the topics to the deliverables well uh kelly you're asking that because you know I, I love talking about organizing by deliverables organizing our content our information by deliverables in this case, I am, you know, because each each of these uh, topics is either a book of mine. I have a book on content marketing. I have a book on Joker productivity. I don't have a book on optimizing offerings, but I have a course about it. I have a book on authentic selling. I have a course on healthy money. I have a book on authentic business. So yes, all of these you can see up here are actually deliverables. Yeah. So does that make sense? Any other follow up question? And if you want to do it even more simply, and I talk about this in the course too, I mean, you could literally put together a, a document, you know, if you don't like, want to use a spreadsheet, you could just put together a document and just start saying your major topics, you know, topic A, whatever you name your topics are, topic B, topic C, just start a document and, you know, make it, make it headings. I'm doing, using keyboard shortcuts to make headings here. And then you could just over time, you know, you could say simple content tracking, right? And over time, as you write a blog post or make a video, make it a habit to come back to this document of yours and say, oh yes, that topic was under, that, that blog post was under topic A, or no, that blog post was under topic B or something. So that's a simple way of tracking it. 